a beacon of light. Assalamu alaikum. We welcome you to Masjid Al Islam, Islamic Outreach Center of downtown Dallas, Texas. It is our privilege to present to you the humble yet tremendous history of community work that Masjid Al Islam has been doing for the Dallas community for the past 33 years. Our doors have always been open to visitors, Muslim and non-Muslim, from out of state, out of country, and our immediate neighbors. The first home of the Dallas Masjid was on Martin Luther King Boulevard, which used to be called Forest Avenue. The Masjid then moved to a new location, Westmoreland Avenue, in West Dallas for a short period of time. In 1979, the Dallas Masjid moved to its present location on South Harwood and has been there ever since. The building was paid for by the late Imam Waterdeen Muhammad. We've always sought to remain connected to the neighborhood. In 1983, the first Muslim school was opened on South Harwood in the Dallas, Texas Metroplex. The Sister Clara Muhammad School, which welcomed all students, not just Muslim students. I very sincerely urge you to show your generosity and support uh, the, the good work of Masjid al-Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us in Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 18, where he says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Innama ya'muru masajid allahi man amana billahi wal yawm al-akhiri wa khama salata wa atas zakata wa lam yakshay illallah fa asa ulaika ayya kunu min al-muhtadeen. In this particular verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the masajids of Allah shall be maintained only by those who believe in Allah and the last day, perform a salah and give zakah, and fear none but Allah, it is they who are on true guidance. So please be very generous and donate generously tonight to Masjid al-Islam. Our current activities include weekly Juma that serves the greater downtown area. Do you want do you wish for Allah to forgive you? All over in the Quran, in the Laha, Allah is not Allah. Surely Allah is the forgiven. Every time that verse mentions forgiveness is before mercy. It's got to be a cleaning process. Forgiveness is addressing the wrong within you. Saturday and Sunday Islamic classes that are frequently attended by Muslims and non-Muslim individuals. Children's classes. Weekly Feeding Our Neighbors program. We have traditionally offered meals and clothes to the needy in our immediate neighborhood. In recent years, we focused on adding support services such as health screenings. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On the behalf of IANT, I would like to inform all our listeners and everybody who is seeing this video, Jazakumullah khairan for supporting Masjid Islam. They are our brother indeed. We have worked in past with them on many projects. We endorse them 100%. They are doing wonderful job and it is our job as a Muslim individuals or as an organization to help our brothers to be successful in their project. Recently, our efforts have found partners in our area as well as neighbors outside our area. This past May, we served over 1,000 persons, giving out hygiene packs, clothing, food, and health screenings. At our recent Day of Dignity event, we had nearly 200 volunteers who served well over 700 recipients. Both Humanitarian Day and Day of Dignity have been very influential on in our family because it's something we look forward to every year, both, both days. 
um, the kids come out and do whatever they can to help and I think it gives them a good feeling and they see that they're doing good for somebody who's less fortunate th than them as we have been blessed uh, quite a bit by all the Swan Othalas. So um, it's just a great family experience and we feel like we're giving back to the community which um, is something everybody needs to do and feel that responsibility to um, the place where we are living. Why does the DFW Muslim community need Masjid al-Islam? Masjid al-Islam has been the leading force for trying to brighten and influence the community in the downtown Dallas area. That I like the way how Masjid al-Islam works with all the different mosques to kind of bring the whole Muslim community together to participate through to part you know participate for two or three very good programs. Masjid al-Islam's outreach to the poor and indigent is one of the leading Islamic organizations in the state of Texas addressing the needs of the poor. Masjid al-Islam's commitment and effectiveness in bringing the light of Islam into the areas of the inner city is unique among Islamic organizations in DFW. Masjid al-Islam is a uniting force in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex for bringing all the Islamic communities together to spread the light of Islam to the city of Dallas and especially the needy. What makes it unique is for their community outreach is that Masjid al-Islam, the people at Masjid al-Islam, they take it very personally. It's not just a duty. It's a personal experience for them. Everybody, they take ownership over the need to help others. Masjid al-Islam is committed to improving the condition of the poor in the Dallas-Fort Worth area and bringing attention to the local government of the people's condition. Masjid al-Islam is committed to presenting the true mission of Islam to the Dallas communities and local government by leading by example of our work. Masjid al-Islam is committed to uniting the Dallas-Fort Worth Islamic communities to give charity to the most impoverished people in the DFW Metroplex. Masjid al-Islam is committed to providing a firm base in the downtown Dallas community for Muslims all over the state, the nation, and world to visit and be part of. The Masjid al-Islam project. The current facility is very old and is in serious condition in respect to meeting city safety codes. To build a new facility at the current downtown location to enable us to better facilitate services to the community, to present the best image of Islam to the growing downtown Dallas community at Masjid events. We need your assistance in doing the work of Allah that not many want to do, which is going to the hardest hit communities in our city to deliver the light of Islam to those who need it most. Be a part of making the change in people's lives and being the beacon of light that shines when they are left in darkness. Well, I see Masjid al-Islam as, as a definite resource to our community. I mean, they've stood uh, behind the community for years and years. They've uh, uh, organized some tremendous events, uh, whether it be for Hurricane Katrina or the uh, Humanitarian Day downtown Martin Luther King uh, parades and marches. Uh, they've actually helped the Muslim Legal Fund of America uh, with our logistics and getting people to the courtroom, feeding our volunteers while they're down at the courtroom. We've had a very strong working relationship with them for many years. And we really think that uh, our community needs to step up and show their support for this community who's always been there beside us when we've needed them the most. How can you help? Donate, pledge, volunteer. Thank you for being a part of this project and for helping us remain a beacon of light in Dallas, Texas.